My name is Jim Green, I like the color green. I'm a senior project leader here at the National Wind Technology Center. We are doing the final installation of a uh, one and a half megawatt wind turbine. Uh, the turbine is a General Electric 1.5 megawatt SLE turbine. Uh, the Department of Energy has uh, uh, elected to put that turbine here on our site as a new research facility. And we have got absolutely the perfect day to, uh, to yeah. put up a wind turbine. So, how do you put it together? I mean, it's such a <laughs> massive piece of machinery. Yeah, yeah, one piece at a time. This morning we'll be putting on what's called the machine head. And that's the, uh, uh, the unit with the logo on it in uh, over my my right shoulder. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is uh, that piece is uh, weighs well over 50 tons. It's it's the critical lift on this construction project. Uh, we'll be lifting it to a height of uh, 262 feet. The industry is uh, using a range of sizes uh, of wind turbines anywhere from about one and a half up to about three megawatts. In fact on this site we'll be putting in a 2.3 megawatt wind turbine from Siemens Energy. Uh, that will happen in September, about a month from now. What do you hope to do with this one that the others that are already set up around the world are, are doing? Uh, we hope to study in more detail uh, how the wind turbine interacts with uh, the, uh, the wind that it sees, especially a turbulence, uh, the variation in wind speed with, tower, uh, with height, because there's a big difference between the bottom of the rotor and the top of the rotor. Um, there's a lot we don't understand yet about how that affects the performance and the structural loads that the wind imposes on the wind turbine. Those are the kind of, kinds of things we'll be studying.